Okay. So, we're talking about so work and energy, you know? So, ang ating last na lesson is about uh, Newton's laws of motion, no? So, kagaya nga nung ating last na topic, so, meron na tayong uh, problems involving inclines, ano? So, pwedeng maging ganun. Okay. Ngayon, let's have the work and energy. So, what is work ba, ano? So, work is... Uh, maraming paliwanag sa work eh pero work is simply uh, or it simply describe what is accomplished when a force acts on an object and the object moves through a distance ano halimbawa meron kang object o okay, ganito lang kadali work ha so nag apply ka ng force o ng constant force no ngayon yung object natin nag display sa ano? originally nandito sa point na to Then, nag-move hanggang dito sa point na to. So, meron kang displacement ngayon. Okay? So, from that, work is the force times, or force applied on the object times the displacement. Okay? So, kaya lang may condition, ano? Sa so work, ang kailangan natin is yung the work o yung force na parallel dun sa displacement. So, paano nag apply yan? So, kalimbawa, meron kang object and the force applied is Uh, inclined. So, kung ang displacement mo is directed here or directed at 0 degrees, no? Kailangan, kung itong force mo, ang kunin mo na force is yung parallel dun sa displacement. So, itong force na to. So, F sub X. No? Pangalan natin F sub X. Kasi, along X yung ating displacement. So, to get that, so, we need to, for example, this is the angle. No? Okay, so ito yung angle natin, angle theta. So we have adjacent, adjacent side, then hypotenuse. So we can use cosine theta is equal to f sub x times f sub x over f. No? So solving for f sub x, so that is equal to f times cosine theta. So we have Okay, the parallel work or the pa parallel force is the component of the constant force parallel to the displacement. So, we can write W or work is equal to F times G cosine theta. Kaya tayo nagka cosine theta dahil kinukuha natin yung uh, parallel force dun sa ating displacement. No? Tandaan, kailangan yung gagamitin natin yung force is parallel dun sa displacement. Okay? So now, let's have an illustration. Halimbawa, meron tayong box na inahatak. Ano? So meron tayo ngayong box na inahatak. Then, yung force na ina-apply natin is naka-inclined. Okay? So syempre, kailangan natin kunin is yung force na parallel dun sa displacement. No? Ito. Kung ito yung displacement mo going to the right, the force must be in parallel direction. Ano? So, kaya, kung alam mo, ito yung force mo. So, you need this. Okay, ang direction ng displacement mo is ito. You need this force. So, F sub X, ano? So, if this is the angle, cosine theta. Okay, so, F sub X will be equal to F times cosine theta. So, kaya tayo, nagkaroon tayo ng W is equal to F cosine theta times D. Okay. So, ngayon, halimbawa, meron tayong box. Then, nag-apply tayo ng force na 30 newton pa kanan. So, yung box natin, syempre, yan ba, nag-move siya pa kanan din. So, yung displacement mo, meron kang uh, displacement na 50 meters. So, now, to solve for work, okay? So, we have work is equal to the force times cosine theta times d. No, yung theta natin. So, what is the angle between the displacement and the force? So, we have 0 degrees. No, cosine theta now will be equal to 1. Uh, cosine 0 is 1, di ba? So, F times D is equal to 13 newton times 15 newton. Yung cosine theta, 0, cosine 0 is 1. Di ba? So, we have 30 times 15. That will be equal to 1,500 newton meter. Ngayon, meron tayong conversion factor. Uh, sa SI unit, yung ating 1 newton meter is equal to 1 joule, no? 
one is to one lang yan. Then, sa CGS naman, yung ating one erg, no, that is the unit for energy, we have one dyne centimeter. So, yung dyne natin, yun yung force, at yung centimeter, yun yung displacement. Then, for English naman, English unit, no, English system, so, one joule is equal to 10 raised to 7 ergs, is equal to 0 0.7367 foot pound. Yung pound na yan ay pound force, no? Pound force yan. Okay, so this now, 1,500 newton meter can be expressed as 1,500 joules. No? 1 is to 1 lang yan. Pwede palitan ng joule yung newton meter. Okay? So, ito ngayon ang dapat nating maintindihan concept. So, alimbawa, meron tayong mama na may hawak siyang object. So, lumalakad siya pa kanan. So, ang displacement mo, syempre, pa kanan din. Ngayon, kung iisipin natin, ano, kung tatanungin tayo, ano yung work done by the mama, ano? <laughs> ano yung work done by the person? So, ano yung force in apply ni mama o ni kuya? So, ang force na in-apply niya is pataas, no? So, F sub P. Kasi, kailangan niya kontrahin yung uh, force due to gravity, no? Yung weight ng object, unless babagsak niya. Okay, so magkaiba siyempre yung object na naka-incline. Siyempre, pag nag-apply ka ng force, no? Naka-incline dyan. Okay? So, yung displacement mo, depende, no? Kung ito yung displacement, kung dyan yung binigay, o kaya naman kung vertical, no? Pwede rin. Ngayon, balik tayo dito sa ating example. Kung ang force na in-apply mo is, ah, uh, Vertical, okay, you have the work is equal to force times cosine theta times displacement. Kung displacement mo ito, no? Ito yung force mo. Force applied by the person. Yan ay 90 degrees or perpendicular with the displacement. So, you have the angle theta will be equal to 90 degrees. So, cosine 90 is equal to 0. So, 0 times any number is equal to 0. Therefore, your work applied or work done by the person will be equal to zero. Siyempre, same with the work done by the gravity. No? So, now, okay. So, kagaya nung natutunan natin sa Newton's law of motion, yung object mo, ano nag-apply ka ng force? No? Meron ka applied force. So, meron pa ibang force na magre-react dun sa ano mo, no? Action and reaction, ano? Merong force na may experience yung, yung object. Merong ibang force. So, kagaya ng frictional force. So, nakakontra yan sa ating applied force in direction. Ano? Then, we have the uh, normal force, which is, syempre, nakakontra kay weight. Okay? So, sabi, kapag uh, daw uh, kumukuha tayo ng work, no? o yung work done by the force, no? kailangan i-specify natin anong force yung gumagawa ng work na yun. So, pwede yung applied force, pwede yung frictional force, no? I-identify natin. So, each of the forces done a, specific, uh, done a specific work on an object, no? Then, syempre, kung meron tayong various works, ano? Meron ka syempre yung net, uh, network done, ano? Meron ka network done. Okay, at yung network done na yan, ano? Pwede mong kunin yung net force at yung display, times displacement. Pwede rin naman. Okay, so summation of work, no? Siyempre, yan ay scalar quantity. Kaya yung, pwede mong i-add yung vertical sa horizontal. Diretso, no? Scalar yan, eh. Okay? So now, let's have an example. No, meron ngayon mama. So, a person pulls a 50 kilogram crate 40 meters along a horizontal floor by constant force of uh, 100 newton, ano? which acts at an angle 37 degrees. The floor is rough and exert a friction force, FFR, is equal to 15 newton. So, determine the work done by each force acting on the crate. Okay, then the network done on the crate. Okay, syempre, yung pagaya nung kanina, yung work na perpendicular, or yung force na perpendicular with the displacement will be equal to zero. No? Yung mga force na yan, or yung work, done by the forces perpendicular to the displacement will be equal to zero. Therefore, work such as work done by the normal force and the work done by the gravity, no? 
is equal now to 0. Okay, disregard na natin yan. Then we have now the work done by the person. Siyempre, saan magagaling yun? So work done by the, oh, yung done by the applied force, no? So siyempre, ang kailangan nating component ito, yung parallel dun sa ating displacement. So we have now the work done by the force for the person, F sub P, is equal to F cosine theta times D. So what is the applied force? So we have 100 newton times cosine 37. Time siyempre in displacement mo is 40 meters. Okay, so we have now the work done by the person. Okay. So we have uh, 100 cosine 37 times 40 meters. So we have uh, 3,194.54 uh, joules, no? Okay, so we have 3,194.54 joules. So ngayon, meron tayong uh, work done by the person. So kunin natin ngayon yung work done by the friction, no? So WFR the friction natin is horizontal force na ngayon. Okay? Cosine theta ka pa rin, but may cosine theta pa rin. Siyempre, kailangan mo yung angle between the displacement and the force. So, you have a 50 newton. Kaya lang, cosine mo ngayon. Okay, directed. Okay, what is the angle between the displacement and the frictional force? Yung displacement mo dito. So, Meron ka straight line. So, ang angle between them is 180 degrees. So, you have cosine 180 degrees. So, times the displacement. So, 40 meters. So, you have now, cosine 180 is negative 1. So, you have negative 50 times 40 is negative 2,000 joules. Okay. So, ano ngayon dapat mating maintindihan? Bakit nag-negative ngayon yan? Ano? So, yan ay negative dahil yung ating uh, force done by the friction is in opposite direction with the displacement. So, ganun nangyayari, no? Pag negative yung work natin, basta yung force na gagawa ng work is in opposite direction with the displacement. So, ngayon, yung force natin na uh, along the, the direction of the displacement, so positive. So, ngayon, meron tayong positive and negative na work. So, kunin ngayon natin yung network done. So, we have the network so, we have the work done by the person plus work done by the friction. So, we have 3194.54 minus 2000 joules, no? So, we have 1194.54 joules, no? The network. Okay, so ganun lang yan, no? Okay, so let's have another example. So determine the work a hiker must do on a 15 kilogram backpack to carry it up a hill of height h is equal to 10 meters as shown in the figure. Okay, determine also the work done by the gravity on the backpack and the network done on the object. For simplicity, assume the motion is smooth and at constant velocity. Okay, so ito halimbawa yung ating... Uh, Hill. Dadalhin daw ng hiker dito yung backpack. So, ito yung initial position. Siyempre, kagaya nung sa may bitbit na object, yung hiker, ang application niya ng course dyan, isang upward lang, ano? No? Then, meron kang weight o yung mass times gravity mo, weight ng object. No? Bitbit mo eh. Ngayon, ang pat mo ito. So, yun yung displacement mo originally. di ba? Meron ka daw, height daw ng hill is h, which is 10 meters. Ngayon, so kailangan natin ng force na, no application mo kasi ng force ito, F sub P, no? So ang kailangan mo is yung F. Diba? F ngayon ang kailangan natin. Ang problema, wala tayo nung, okay, so ang F na i-apply mo, okay, so, sa mga gagaling, we have the F sub P, no? Paano natin so-solve ngayon to? 
Okay. So, ganito lang yan. Ano? So, we have now the work is equal to, work done by the high care, is equal to force times cosine theta times d. Ngayon, pwede mong i-relate yung, uh, yung displacement mo at yung h. So, paano? So, using cosine theta, ano? So, ano ba ito yung angle mo na theta? Opposite adjacent. So, we have, okay, h over d is equal to cosine theta. So, solving for h. So, we have d times cosine theta. So, ngayon, we have f is equal to cosine theta times d, di ba? Okay, perfect. So, ito ngayon yan, ano? D cosine theta. So, palitan na ngayon natin yung F ng H. Ngayon, ano ba yung force na yun? Yung force na yan is yung ating force applied by the high curve. So, syempre, that is equal to, okay, F sub P is equal to Mg. No? Okay, so we have now Mg times H. So, work of the high curve is equal now to, okay, mas nung ano, Object times 9.8. Siyempre, times yung height, which is 10 meters. Okay, so we have 15 times 9.8 times 10. So we have 1,470. Okay, so we have 1,470 newton. So that is the work, the hiker, done on the object. Okay, paano ngayon yung letter B? You know? So, letter B tayo. Work done by the gravity. So, kasi ito yung, yung displacement originally. Kasi ito yung weight mo, di ba? Yung mg. So, ito yung kailangan mo. Yung direction na parallel. Okay, kung kukunin natin to, yung angle between m and g. So, we have... Uh, so, kung ito consider natin, Tapos yung displacement mo, okay. So, we have the work done by the gravity, di ba? So, we have the mg times cosine theta times d displacement. Ngayon, yung angle na ito between your force and the displacement. Okay, so pangalan natin theta rin. Theta sa buwan, ano? So, mga theta sa buwan. So, this is theta. So, we have uh, theta sub 1 is equal to 180 minus theta. Diba? So, we have now mg times cosine 180 minus theta. At ang cosine 180 minus theta, cosine 180 minus theta, is equal yung kay negative cosine theta. Diba? From our trigonometry. Okay. So, that is equal now to mg times negative cosine theta times d. Ngayon, yung cosine theta times d natin, kanina, nirelate natin yan na Okay, so we have H is equal now to neg uh, D cosine theta. So, therefore, we have WG. So, we have MG times, okay, negative MG times H. So, ito lang din kanina yan, ano? So, we have now WG or yung work applied or work done by the gravity is equal to negative 1 for 70 lang. Oh, sorry, this is not Newton, no? So, this is Joules. Mamali ako. Okay. So, erase-erase na tayo. Para sa item na letter C. So, we have the work, uh, network. So, network na ngayon. Siyempre, yung work done by the high curve plus work done by the gravity. So, sila ay equal lang. Yung 1,470 minus 1,470. Kasi negative. So, we have 0. So, work net is, or network done on the object is 0. Okay. So, ganun lang yun. Ano? So, sana malinaw sa atin yung part na yan. Okay.